Did you see that? No. Did you get it? Epic. That I was totally epic. Got it. Oh my gosh. What's up, guys? My name is Amanda. My twin sister Emily's behind the camera. Hey, guys. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Today, we're fishing on the Yankee Caps. Make sure you go ahead and give them a follow across all social media platforms. I'll put the info right here. We are doing a four night, four night, a three night fishing trip on the Yankee Caps. Iron Man. Iron Man fishing trip, guys. We are running on how many hours of sleep? What's our sleep? What's our sleep update? I think we got like, I think we're on like, took a two hour nap. So I think we're at like three hours. Is that it? Yeah. I thought we took two two hour naps. We took one two hour nap? Yeah. Oh, I'm going on three hours of sleep. Three hours of sleep. Three hours of sleep on, and how many hours of running? At least. Uh, we're coming up on 24. We're coming up on 24 hours of being awake on three hours of sleep. Still no crash yet. <laughs> Hasn't kicked in. <laughs> I'm sure it will soon. That fish brain is gonna get to us pretty soon. How does it feel? What do you think? Is it, does it feel big? It feels different. Different. It feels different. I mean, there's definitely size to it. Oh yeah. But it doesn't take too much drag. That'd be awesome. We, we haven't our caught grouper the trip. Yeah. Haven't caught any groupers yet at all so far this trip. Oh, oh careful. Oh. 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 Grouper. It's uh, oh, red grouper. Wait, what? It's no, a double boy. hooked! Double hooked oh, red grouper! Oh, look at it. Look at that. He ate two feet. What? Crazy. That guy was hungry. Let's look at this red grouper that ate two ballyhoos. It ate two ballyhoos? It ate our ballyhoo and then the other person's ballyhoo. No we way, We both guys. had ballyhoo, so he was in the mood for ballyhoo. He was a hungry guy. Okay, look at let's fish. take a look. So, we put him down. Red groupers kind of have like a red tint to them. No kidding. And these white spots. That's pretty characteristic. They kind of like remind me, like the white spots kind of remind me of a snowy grouper, but they're much more red. Correct. They got the black, the black on their fins. The pressure change makes his eyeballs pop up. Is, well, look at that mouth. That bulb right there that you see, that's his stomach inflating. His swim bladder, to be exact, I believe. And what's happening is from the fishing on the bottom, all the pressure builds up and the air expands. That's so insane! A grouper that ate two baits. That has never happened to me before. Literally one on the hook on either side of his mouth. Crazy, guys. Okay, Amanda, let's show our wonderful viewers. I'm gonna show you guys my rig for that grouper. I have, I'm not even sure I'm fishing a 6 -0 circle hook. I have 6 and 7 -0s. this is like a 6 -0. 50 pound leader. This is around 10 feet of it. Two Gale Force Twin arms. We got a fish coming through. Fish coming through. Mutton snapper going nice by. Job. Nice job. We got 10 feet of leader. 50 pound. Come, up, come down here. Check it out. We have two swivels. So this swivel goes from my leader to my wind on. And this swivel is what attaches to my sinker. And I'm using 16 ounces a day, but that's because of the current and that will always be. Yeah, 16 ounces is actually pretty heavy. A lot of times you can do, sometimes you can even do six ounces. Yeah. Just and depends. On top of all, I have a 50 pound wind down leader and right. The important part, bait. The deboned ballyhoo. The deboned the ballyhoo. You break the beak off. You hook them. Under the jaw, through the top of the head. Just like that. Let's see, show them how there's no back room. Basically fillet it with, while leaving the two sides of meat on. And toss it up. the back room. Let's give a thank you to our neighbor. Oh, our Jim. neighbor, Jim, catches. He catches bait, the value the and bait and mullet. And got, got us set up for this trip on bait. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
What is happening? The twins are hooked up, doubled up. We doubled up. Double. Double. Uh, both fish went under the boat, really hoping that they don't rub on the bottom and break off. I'm slow pitch jigging, and Amanda has a deboned belly hoo. We will see. Guys, this is so nerve wracking because my line is literally under the boat, like, rubbing on it. Really, really hoping it's okay. So I'm leaning over, doing my best. Her fish swam her into a rock. Well, at least mine's on a bottom. He's starting to swim out from under the boat. So Emily was on the bottom. Well, two of them. Um, she's slow pitch digging awesome. on the bottom. I had a bottom bait down, and when she We're got here. hooked up, you're here. It's a huge oh. Whoa! Oh, oh my gosh! Slack off! I'm losing my voice! <laughs> Green light! Slack! <laughs> Thanks! Yeah. Oh, no. Look at this mutton snapper. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Look at that. And this is the jig and eight. Is that a personal best mutton? This 100% is a personal best mutton. I gotta weigh it so I can have that mental number. And then from now on, I'll know that this much weight, whatever, fish, I have fish brain, guys. I am running out three hours of sleep, so my words are getting all conjumbly. Anyways, <laughs> look at this. Uh, look at this. All right, let's Wait, let's this. do a size reference. Size reference. Leave the jig in to show them the jig. Size reference. One. Two. Three. three. Three, three size. Deal for swim size feet, and Emily has big feet. She's a size nine. Like, wow, <laughs> thanks. You have you're only a half size smaller. I'm just man. saying we don't have tight feet, so this is a big deal. Look, Look at, at that. this fish, guys. This is a beautiful mutton snapper. Look at he even got hooked in the top fin, his dorsal fin, and in the mouth. Wow. The benefit of slow this, digging. Look at this jig. This is the jig we use. <laughs> First time using it, right? Yeah, first time. It was the second drop, I think. Only the second drop. Check that out. Let's get this boga grip and weigh this fish. Hi right, guys. Anyways, to finish what I was saying, where's the boga grip? I don't know, but let's de dehook it first. We don't want to. We don't want to add the weight of the the jig. While Emily gets the boga grip out, I need to finish what was happening. So Emily was on. Uh, slow pitch digging. She hooked up. I saw she was hooked up really quick. I need. I go. I need to reel mine in and get this on camera because this is epic. All of a sudden I hooked up, my fish ran like crazy and unfortunately it took me in the bottom but we were doubled up over the rail. Both our fish were under the boat. It's just like, you just can't make these things up out here. It's so incredible. Let's see how much Emily's fish weighs. Ready? Thirteen pounds. Thirteen, 13 pound mutton snapper. snapper. Thirteen pounds. Thirteen, 13 pound mutton snapper. snapper. How nice is that? Look at that. Also called pinkies. Obviously because they're pink. Want to tag them and throw them on the ice? Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. He's going in the fish box. Going in the fish box. Here I keep my tags. Convenient. Yeah, I know you That's a big one. Yeah, it's Thirteen. Alright. Thirteen pounds? Thirteen pounds. Gosh. There you go. Go night night fishy. Let's talk about this mutton rig. You guys saw the jig. This is a deep neo, 250 grams. Kind of looks like a squid with the eyeball, in my personal opinion. And I'm pretty sure we're fishing like 300 feet of water. 300 feet of water, two, 250 to 300. And these are the hooks that I put these on here hooks. with a little. It's the fish eat fish NLO brand 50s. With they a, come ready to go for you. Well, we had to add the, the split, split ring. ring. So the split okay. ring. And then you tie your line to the ring that the hooks are on. Can you, you tie see that okay? line? There you go. You got that? Yes. Got it. Okay. That's very important. And it, pounds, you tie it to the, the same top. Thing up here and there's hooks down here too. Okay. Same thing. And we got 50 pound yes. leader. With Only about... 10 feet of it, basically enough to go up the rod and back down to the 
spool and the reel we're using today accurate turn 500 narrow made in america thanks you guys at accurate for setting us up with a cool slow pitch setup we didn't have one ourselves don't have a lot of experience slow pitching but on this trip we are getting it down the sun is setting we're at this spot for a few hours basically from gosh i have no idea maybe four till i don't even know what time it is is it like six or seven time will pop on the screen you guys will know yeah. the time more than we're gonna know the time we, we are about to make a move so make sure you guys subscribe to our channel for all of these awesome videos that we've been making with turn the your Yankee notifications caps. on follow the yankee caps we'll have all that show up for you guys and details in the description box but turn your notifications on because we're gonna be coming out with yankee caps videos regularly because we're doing so much fishing we're gonna have so much awesome content from this trip make sure you like follow gale force twins on facebook instagram, instagram. youtube <laughs>